So we are DivX at Mobile World Congress 2010. That's right. And you're showing the DivX TV solution. Yes, that's right. This is our platform for the delivery of digital media services to connected CT devices. So this is uh, something you announced at CES? Yes. And uh, so what happened since CES, like one month ago? Uh, <laughs> well, we've been getting ready for this show and all the others. Now, uh, we're working on productizing uh, this right now for launch in the North American market. It'll be coming uh, to the North American market later this year on um, Blu-ray players and home theater systems from LG. Uh, so they'll be pushing that out to the 500 series of players. Uh, and that's what we're working on right now is getting that ready for market launch. So your solution is embedded inside a TV? That's right. Yes, it's uh, designed to be embedded in a range of chipsets for connected Blu-ray players, uh, digital televisions, set-top boxes. We even have a technology demonstration on mobile devices right now on uh, Qualcomm's Snapdragon platform. So it's uh, designed to scale across a range of devices, uh, mobile as well as uh, living room devices from a range of different manufacturers as well. So it's a software solution? But you do hardware acceleration solutions as well, or how does it work? Uh, so it has to be integrated at the IC level, uh, yeah. and every DivX TV device is also a DivX certified device, so it integrates our uh, codec and DRM. Um, so yes, we're, we're leveraging the codecs embedded at the IC level, and it's a flash application that rides on top of that. It's flash. It's, it's flash. 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 It's flashlight, yes. Flashlight, okay. So, so what is the certification that, that, that comes with that? Is that the Ultra HD, the, the maximum certification level of all these devices? Uh, yes. It, Can it, Yes, is the answer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, so it means that uh, what is that? Is that uh, also mean it's not only DivX, it's also MPEG and all the other codecs? And it, does it? It's MKV container. It's so yeah, DivX Plus HD yeah. is MPEG yeah. four part two and part ten and AVI and MKV containers uh, yeah. with MP three as well as AAC audio. So the Blu-ray players. Uh, HDTVs, things like that that can support uh, full yeah. HD video uh, should be DivX uh, Plus HD certified uh, for different types of devices and maybe different levels of, of certification, uh, which is normal uh, depending on the capabilities of the device. So it's 1080p and uh, super high bitrate? Or... So the platform supports that. Um, yeah. you know, whether every single device will... Uh, what does certification mean? What is, what, is the, what is it requiring? So there's DivX Plus HD certification yeah. and then there's DivX TV, which is an application that yeah. also requires a certain level of DivX certification. Yeah. So they're, they're a little bit different. The platform supports full HD video, um, but not every device will be able to support that. Okay, but if there's TV plus HD uh, certified, then they're uh, high, higher high bit rate, NKV, Yes, if it's a DivX plus HD certified device, absolutely, yes. Cool. And so there you have some interface. Mm -hmm. So how, how does it work? Uh, so we've uh, got over 70 different uh, content partners and channels uh, with DivX TV right now. Uh, we present them in an easy-to-use interface, so it's the standard up, down, left, right navigation the user would expect from their TV. Uh, we've got content uh, options for a number of different uh, genres, and when you're in uh, a genre, you go full screen and changing channels, and it's just like watching TV. You put the remote down, you go to the other room, uh, content starts uh, playing immediately when one video ends, and uh, it's like free TV that the user gets with their new uh, Device. So it plays like TV and the content comes from where? Uh, the content's coming directly from our content providers. From uh, the same kind of content they have on their website or are they going to provide more? Uh, that's up to the content partner. So for uh, most of our ad-supported content, it would be the same stuff that you would find on their websites. But the platform supports authentication, subscription, uh, transactional VOD. So uh, we can enable a number of different business models for our content partners. Nice. And do you support YouTube? Uh, not at this time. Not at this time. But it's, uh, is the uh, hardware and everything compatible that can be added? Or what would support it to that? Yeah, the hardware would support it. So it's just a business question? It's a business right? question, right. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and your embedded solution is, you said, on many chips, on many different providers of chips. Uh, we're, making it, we're making it available to a number of different IC yeah. manufacturers. Did you announce uh, some specific partnerships? like Broadcom. Broadcom. Broadcom is the first yeah. uh, IC partnership that we've announced. You didn't announce Sigma Design or something else? We have not announced any others other than Broadcom at this time. But you, you did uh, show a tablet over there? Uh, yes. Is it battery powered? Can we pull it off? Or? Sure. Yeah. So this is announced uh, on a... This is not Broadcom, is it? Or is it? Uh, no, this is Qualcomm's Snapdragon platform. Yes. This is their Snaptop. 
So this is a technology demonstration to show that the application can be running on mobile devices. Uh, it's not fully certified and ready for market yet, but you can see that uh, DivX TV can run uh, both on a mobile platform as well as uh, you know, full screen HDTVs. So this is uh, going to be the same content. Well, uh, this is this is a content rights issue. So we may have different content available depending on the platform, depending on the region, depending on the OEM. Uh, so there will be a consistent uh, look and feel and user experience, and some of the same content will be uh, available on different platforms, but uh, it's just, you know, to be determined. So this is the is that what they call the Kamaji web station, or this is here. Uh, Kamaji web station, and it's uh, this one is not specifically running uh, something under DivX TV. Is it just DivX TV and nothing else? Or uh, is no, this is one of the, the applications which is running on the device. So DivX TV is just one of the applications on the device that could be Android or something else. Yes. So DivX TV is just one application. In in this instance, this is just one application. Yeah. And there's no way to get get out of DivX TV in here. No, I'm not showing what's behind below. Yes. If, uh, there is, so yeah. this looks like maybe Windows CE or something like that. Uh, uh, it could be something. It depends what they're showing. But there's something going on. Some, I don't know. Some, some. Uh, there we go. In, it might be Windows CE or, I don't know, or some Linux. Oh, APK. Okay, so this is, a, this is the Android. There it is. It's an Android device. It's actually there interesting it to check out. Anyway, um, at the game star and all this stuff going on here, the digital frame, and uh, is there an HDMI output on this device? It could be. You wouldn't be against it, at least. But there is a USB host, USB mini, port, volume, and SD card slot up here. Okay, cool. And uh, so, in terms of this, of DivX TV just being an application, could you have an Android TV with a DivX t TV application? Uh, that is possible. We haven't fully ported the uh, application over to Android yet, but uh, they're supporting uh, a range of different ICs uh, for home living room devices right now. But as Android moves into different devices, uh, this is certainly a possibility. Is this a platform where you would want people to install more applications within your application? Yes. Like, uh, Yes, that's right. We'll be releasing an, uh, an application SDK later, and uh, developers will be able to build applications such as the ones you see here on the home screen. Uh, and because the uh, entire platform is a, a Flash environment, uh, same tools can be used to develop you know, very uh, small or easy to use applications as well as very full featured uh, interactive apps. Right. Uh, anything about storage on this TV? Do you connect a USB hard drive to it? Uh, Does that make any sense? Well, this is a DivX certified TV, so you can insert your DivX media through a thumb drive. Um, yeah, thumb drive and, and hard drive. Five hard drive. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so it means that it will be able to play back all these files. Right. No Every matter DivX TV certified. DivX TV or not. Right. Cool. And does uh, DivX TV uh, mean uh, flash, flash video support as well? Yes. It does. So it's going to be full flash support as well. No, it's not full flash. So okay, uh, flash the a lot of the content that uh, you're seeing being brought into the platform now is H.264 uh, based flash. Okay. So uh, it is a flash environment. It can support flash applications, uh, advertising, as well as flash video. But it's not a uh, a full open browser with flash 10 support. And the DivX TV solution is something that you license yeah. to the consumer yeah. makers. Yes. So we'll see it soon. Yes. How soon? Uh, this year. This yep. year. LG Blu-ray players and home theater systems uh, in the North American market. Cool. Thanks.